Welcome back to The Five. Bob just gave me this block to do. As we mentioned earlier, the president yesterday dismissed Obamacare architect Jonathan Gruber as just some advisor who was never on his staff who he doesn't agree with. Interestingly, we just found tape of him in 2006 when he was senator talking about Gruber in a very different light. Watch this. We've already drawn some of the brightest minds from uh, academia and policy circles. Uh, many of them I've stolen ideas from liberally. Uh, people ranging from Robert Gordon to Austin Goolsby, John Gruber, uh, my dear friend Jim Wallace here, uh, who can talk, I think, uh, who can inform uh, what are sometimes dry policy debates with uh, a prophetic voice. Kimberly, as a former prosecutor, if you were putting together this case, what one piece of evidence did you just notice? My aha moment was when President Obama didn't look down and read the name of Gruber. He looked right up into the crowd and said it because he knows him. Now see, this is why you want Kimberly as your lawyer, Bob. Now, I tell you, the guy was giving a speech at Brookings. Everybody, his staff gave him a bunch of names of people going to be sitting around. And he, he didn't said, read it off yeah, the page. He looked he, right he up was, and He was it. looking down that page virtually the whole time. I well, mean, you, you got to jump on a guy because this he says Bob, are you, his guy's name. Are you on the Democrats' bandwagon that they don't know who Gruber is? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know who he is. I don't care. He is. I think he's a jerk if you want to know the truth to say that kind of stuff. I mean, if, you, if it's true, if you, if you were covering that thing up, then keep your mouth do you know, shut. Do you know what's true? That's a Bob he mad is a jerk. The truth. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I mean, because all it does is give the Republicans a bunch of ammunition to keep shooting again. And, you know, That's why he will be ostracized. Well, he, he's only a jerk to Democrats. I mean, I, I, I think I I know he's, he's, he's not you. a jerk because he's. he's He's re recollecting what happened, and, and uh, unfortunately, remember the liberal academia. But he's still bad because he's part no, of uh, that honestly, cover up. I'll, I'll say it one more time. Look, if if Obamacare was working, no one would give a crap who Jonathan Gruber is. No, the Republicans wouldn't. No one would mind that Gruber made 5.9 million dollars over the course of 10 or 15 years. No one cared if it, it was working, but it's not. So therefore, well, you say it's not. I say it's working. Well, it's not. The numbers well. don't bear that you're out. You're not on it. And not, not only that, Bob. As Dana pointed, Dana pointed out in the A block, 37 percent, the lowest um, Gallup poll, which you qu quoted last week, the sure. lowest uh, <laughs> approval rating for Obamacare. I, I ever. It was for Obamacare or for Obama? Obamacare. Obamacare. 37 percent? Yeah. Isn't that up? Is that the lowest? No, it's the lowest, lowest ever. Hey, I didn't know that. Let me ask Greg. Do you think that next year that Gruber will get teacher of the, professor of the year. <laughs> <He might. laughs> Don't you think? You got to wonder how much of this denial is spreading even into his personal life. Does he come home from work and his wife is like, who are you? Right. I have no yeah. idea who you are. That would be the ultimate insult if his dog didn't even his greet him like at the door. Yeah, it's like, no, dude, you're, you're just bad and news. He's got to be depressed. Everybody he knows, everybody that said how great he is is now going, I don't know who he is. I don't know who he is. He's, uh, he's it's, not as smart as he thinks he yeah, is. That's true. And uh, it's going to come out. Why are you other, taking other things word? will come out. Why are you taking him to his word? You, he's a liberal college professor. You always say those people are a bunch of commies. So why would you take what he says is truth? Well, I don't believe him for a second. You don't, really? You don't think no, behind closed not doors? Second, not for a second. I don't believe he met with Obama 20 times. I don't believe he I think, got I think they actually. Deal. I think they lived together in Vermont for five years. Well, maybe they did, but that's a different situation. <laughs> they well, didn't that's talk about a domestic Obamacare. situation.